Do you guys have behind the head hearing protection and want to know how to properly integrate it with your ballistic helmet? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to do that on my hard-headed veteran helmet like you see back here on the zombie as well as the ballistic armor co. Without further ado, let's dive down into the table and take a closer look at how to integrate behind the head hearing protection on your ballistic helmet. We've got our hard-headed veteran helmet here. We've got our Liberator HPs. So each side of the helmet has this little pass-through area. It's typically where your ears are. And that's what we're gonna run the, the strap through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna identify the top strap. We're gonna undo one side. And we're gonna also identify the rear of the helmet here. So we're gonna put the bar just like that. Make sure these are oriented in the right direction. Take this strap, we're gonna run it through one of those areas and through the other side. And then find this piece here and we're gonna put it through just like so. And that's literally how easy it is and you're ready to go. Just so you guys can see, on the zombie head here. So just make sure the strap's down in there, the top strap. So this goes like so. So make sure that these straps are underneath. This is what's retaining the helmet to your head. So you want that underneath the hearing protection. And then you've got that nice pad behind the bar there. That's how you do it. So you might be asking yourself like, Dana, why do you have to run the strap? Rather than you take my word for it, uh, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So these are the Safari Land Liberators. And so if you, you know, put it on, I need to adjust this tighter. So yeah, there's your behind the head hearing protection. You got your bar back here and the strap that we undo and put through the helmet. And so why not just throw the helmet on? <laughs> well, I'm gonna show you. So a lot of content creators just put these on and then it shows them putting this on like so and then going to the next scene and uh, it's just not possible. So first of all, so let's just say you can get that over and you can get this over the top, which it's really hard to do. It makes it really tight. Okay. so. I, I have hardly any motion because as you can see, the bar is over the top or underneath the suspension system. And that's super uncomfortable and I can barely, I can barely move my head. No matter which way you try to run it, it's not, you can't get this to go underneath. So, and, and then it's really tight because you're, you're, you'd have to adjust this strap to accommodate that. If you absolutely had to, could you run your hearing protection like that? Yeah, technically you could run the helmet like that, but you're gonna wanna change it really quickly because if you wear it for any length of time, you'll realize that it's super uncomfortable. <laughs> so really quick, I just wanna show you with the Ballistic Armor Co. I've got the Sword and Supreme Pro Xs and just make sure you've got them, once again, orientated correctly. So the bar goes to the back of the helmet right here, and then you're taking this strap and you're running it through this side and up through here. And then we're just gonna put this through and voila, there it is. It's ready to go. The head strap is in there, it's super thin, and so it's not gonna be a hot spot or pinch point on your head. See how the bar is over the top of that suspension system in the back. It's just super comfy. So really quick, I wanna show you uh, how to put the helmet on with the hearing protection. So it's not rocket science. You kinda have to do this weird like holding the helmet and the hearing protection out. That way you can get your head in there. Otherwise, weird things happen with the straps. So once you have it in this position, then you can kind of just put your head in there. And it can be kind of difficult the first time when you're trying to like figure out how to do this, but you do eventually mess up your glasses. 
and you get it. This isn't a super quick method, but hey, it'll work. So there we go. I think that's a super clean setup. It's super, super comfy. You have full motion, full range of motion. That's pretty cool. If you're looking to get really good hearing protection, but you're also wanting to be able to integrate with your helmet for the time being, I think this is a great option. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.